YouTube. This is my homemade um, instant hot water heater. It's the second one I built. Has the uh, water input coming to the on off valve going up to the uh, pressure gauge which reads the pressure in this line. Heating element is concealed within this reservoir and hot water comes out of the top. Works really good. It's probably about 1300 or 1350 watts. Let me show you how I connect this to the municipal water supply. Okay, we run a fitting, a splitter right here, and a nipple to connect to this braided vinyl hose, which goes around and goes out the wall right here. Then, It comes out of the wall right here, goes up, 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 right through this way to another on-off valve. So let's go ahead and turn that on. It goes up, up, up. Right there, it there's a reducer that connects it to a small, I believe, quarter-inch line for... Uh, um, ice makers and refrigerators it goes all along and it ends up right here the input so we have the input pressurized maybe 60 psi or so that's what municipal water systems run at on off valve rotary we could decrease or increase the pressure it's pretty cool and hot water heater which feels like it's not plugged in let's plug it in there we go 110 volts plug that in Now it's beginning to heat up. Let's turn the pressure down, turn the flow way down so we can get a nice, good uh, start as far as heating is concerned. There is something you have to consider. If you have a very high, uh, if you have the flow turned up very high and it's just shooting water through there, the heating element can't catch up to make it super hot. So you have to find a nice balance between the uh, flow rate, how wide open you have the on-off valve, and the uh, temperature from the output port. One more thing I want to say, this uh, heating element from the one cup coffee maker came with a cheap thin plastic top that came up a little bit and it was nice looking but when I subjected it to the full pressure of the municipal water supply which is about 60 psi it bursted immediately so I had to make this plate which is made of uh, I think uh, it's either three eighths or half inch uh, ple clear plexiglass and fashion a nipple for the top which our hot water comes out of. So I don't know it's been plugged in maybe for about a minute let's check the readings. If I aim it at the right spot, it says 102. But I'm telling you, this, this is hot.
This is hot. I can touch it. This is hotter than I would want to wash my hands in. It's very hot. So there's a balance between the amount of flow that you choose with the on-off valve and the temperature that will come out of here with either increased or decreased volume of water depending on where you set your uh, on-off valve to. So basically, this is a very good working system. I mean, you can use this for just about any purpose where you need hot water. Uh, the building I'm in came with no hot water, no hot water heater, just a cold water supply. So I decided to build something. The first one I built, check out my other video. It's made with regular uh, coffee maker heating elements, which they have no reservoir. So it actually caught on fire because I unplugged the uh, water supply in order to use it for something else and then I um, I plugged it in not remembering about me unplugging the water supply and it caught on fire and uh, made these burn marks right here but this is a much much better system I know it says you know 10 if I aim it at the right spot, 103 or 104, but I'm telling you, it feels way hotter than that. That is way hotter than what you would need. So I would recommend anybody to build this system. It's just three wires. You've got your two wires here going to the heating elements through the bottom. And then you have a ground wire here, which connects to the metallic reservoir. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about this hot water heater, just ask, and I'll do my best to reply in a timely manner. All right, I'm out.